South Dakotans join folks from North Carolina in mourning four airmen who lost their lives fighting a Black Hills wildfire. The latest on that story is first up on Fox tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Governor Dennis Dugard is asking that all flags in South Dakota be flown at half staff Thursday to honor four men from North Carolina who died fighting the White Draw fire near Edgemont. Their firefight turned tragic Sunday evening when the C-130 they were in went down while they were working the fire in the Southern Hills. Only two of the six crew members on board survived, but the North Carolina Air National Guard says they were all experienced and good at their jobs. This is video of two of the injured airmen being transferred to Rapid City Regional Hospital, where the guard said today they were in serious condition. The guard identifies the four who were killed as 42-year-old Lieutenant Colonel Paul Michael, 36-year-old Major Joseph McCormick, 35-year-old Major Ryan David, and 50-year-old Senior Master Sergeant Robert Cannon. All were married with children. The guard says the men were dedicated to their jobs and that it's time to help their families cope with the loss. Commitment to both family and guard family is what stands out to me because when you visit, when I visit these homes and other chaplains, that's what we are hearing is they loved the guard, but they loved their family and, and they were committed to both. We are very hands-on. Uh, we care about these guys. We care about their families and we're going to make sure that we do whatever we can to help them through this horrible and tragic event. The guard says at this point it would be speculation and guesswork to say why the plane went down. The investigation is expected to take weeks, possibly months, to complete. Following the crash, the government's six other C-130 tankers that assist in fighting wildfires were grounded, but the military said five of those planes were cleared for service today and the sixth will be available tomorrow.